40 years ago, this former cutlery factory in Sheffield hosted the very first performance of a group who went on to become one of the biggest rock bands in the world, Def Leppard. Pour Some Sugar On Me was the hit that helped them secure their place in history. They've now sold more than 100 million records worldwide. But today we've oh, brought wow. Joe the singer and Sav the bassist back to their factory rehearsal space where it all began. We spent most of our lives in here when we weren't doing our day jobs, playing, hanging out. The first yeah. gig we ever played was in this room, really. Yeah. Remember, we had an invited audience. We used to call them rent a crowd because yeah. they were all our mates. Yeah. We only had four or five songs, but you know, yeah, we, we did it like a gig, you know, it's all foot on the monitor and shaking your head about. And, but it was brilliant fun. At the time, you just think, this is great. This, you know, we're going to be huge. <laughs> we could either work in a place like this making cutlery, or we could work in a place like this making music. And it was kind of a <laughs> no-brainer. No -brainer. Yeah. Over the next few years, the band made three albums and gained a huge American audience. But back home in the UK, they remained relatively unknown. Was it odd for you guys being big in America and yet not really picking up so well here? The word apparently would have been big in our family. It's like, yeah, apparently they're quite big in America. <laughs> but back in those days, if you were on telly, ooh, they must be famous. So we weren't on the telly or on the radio in, in England. So it was just hearsay. Rather than sitting back on their stateside success, the band resolved to try and take their music to a wider audience. We didn't want to alienate ourselves from the heavy metal crowd that had always been with us from day one. It was just trying to bridge that gap of making an album that was kind of universal. But it meant a very slow start in the studio as the band began experimenting. Then progress was halted further when drummer Rick was involved in a terrible accident, severing one arm. Initially, your biggest concerns are whether he's going to live. You didn't even really think about, well, how, what the band going to do. I mean, that kind of comes later. How do you deal with somebody telling you that your drummer has lost 50%, the most important part of what he does for a living, has gone? But Rick was determined to find a way around his injury. He discharged himself from hospital early and worked tirelessly developing a new electronic drum kit. And he started playing and we were like, wow. It kind of gave us a bit more of an identity on how we sound. The album finally came together and was almost finished when their producer came across Joe strumming his acoustic guitar. And he goes, what is that? So I played it to him and he said something along the lines of, he goes, wow, he says, that's the best hook I've heard in like five, 10 years or whatever. And uh, he says, we should do this. You know, lyrically with the quote some sugar on me, there was obviously a nod towards the fact that sugar has always been a great metaphor for the mating ritual, <laughs> if you like, you know. We all knew it wasn't Bob Dylan, but it's like, God, it's fr good. phonetically, it's just <laughs> bang on, you know. And I always hark back to Little Richard. He's got this one song and it goes, tutti frutti orori, a what bop a loo bop a lot bam boom. <laughs> right you know what I mean? What does that mean? But who okay. cares? <laughs> With the addition of Pour Some Sugar On Me, the album Hysteria was finally released in August 1987. It's gone on to sell more than 25 million copies to date, and the success is largely due to that track. And today, for the first time in 40 years, especially for The One Show, the guys are back in the old cutlery factory playing their signature song. Love is like a bomb, baby, come and get it on. Living like a lover with a red iPhone. It's such an audience participation type song. It's very simple and less melodic, but, but just had a, an impact. It's just a great vibe to do. Awesome sugar on me. Get it, come get it, boy, oh, sugar on me. The crowd take over so much that they're actually louder than we are, because there's 20,000 of them doing it, and it's like, whoa, that's loud. Yeah, that's cool. Sugar me. 